before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Transportation Nation Network. I have partnered with them to bring you the best in trucking entertainment and trucking news on the web. Go to their website, transportationnation.com, and you will find that it is your one-stop shop for everything trucking. There's a lot of great trucking shows and entertainment there as well. I encourage you to go, sign up on their website, and subscribe to their shows so you don't miss any. I hope to see you there. Link is down below in the description. Morning, Diesel. Morning from our humble home at a rest area in Minnesota. We're on our way to deliver three of these massive mowers that I have on the back of me into southern Minnesota. And then I want to try and get to our second drop today yet or early tomorrow morning for the final massive mower. Whoever wants these mowers is very serious about mowing because these things are heavy duty. I'm all ready to go here, so let's get on the road. Okay, let's get out there. Time for another day to begin. So it's about four hours to our first drop. Plus we gotta go through Minneapolis. So that might take a little while yet. Hopefully traffic isn't too bad today. It is Monday, so everybody's on their way back to work. Window. It's so hard to keep the truck clean in this season. You know, you wash it one day and by the time evening rolls around, it's all dirty again. I believe Alexandria is just up the road here. I'm gonna pull into their Pilot Flying J and grab a coffee, and then we're on the way. No more stops until we get there. Rock and roll, right, Diesel? Rock and roll, you look so excited. So the problem with my rims has been solved by the looks of it. I mean, we'll give it a few days to test it out. It feels like that's solved. The exhaust leak on my turbo, fixed. I brought it to the shop and they said there's nothing wrong with it. Which is weird because when I brought it to them, I could hear the turbo screech and then they took it all apart, put it back together. And I guess when they did that, they, they fixed the problem because they couldn't figure out where the, where the leak was. They said there was no leak. Whatever they did, they fixed it. So the truck is running absolutely great right now. We're still working on getting the money from that company of the driver who hit me. The driver is persistent in saying that I drove into him while I was in the sleeper in my parking spot sleeping. So I don't know how that's going, but we got the company and we got people back home. Uh, fighting them for that money because they got to fix my truck. It's not my fault they hired a driver that doesn't know how to drive. Minneapolis. It's a beautiful day to be in Minneapolis. Look at this. Sun shining. Minimal traffic. Knock on wood. That might change. We're going to be going through downtown St. Paul here on the I-94. Keep right on to I-94. Uh, the GPS finds it quickest to go through downtown uh, that's debatable i don't know if that's true or not but we're gonna find out it was quite a bit of a ways around to go on the 494 around the south side i figured i wouldn't mind seeing downtown st paul again hopefully traffic isn't too bad still got a ways we ended up in a bit of a traffic jam there was a construction zone and they blocked off all but one lane of the freeway coming into the city for absolutely no reason. There was nothing going on. They just set up cones and left it there. So that bottlenecked the traffic back for about 10, 15 miles. Crept along at about 15 miles an hour for a while. So we're a little bit behind where I'd like to be. I think we're gonna get our second drop off today but I did call to the the first drop there where the three mowers are going to and they're waiting for me so 
So they'll be there till 5.30 and it's about 1.30 right now. We got two hours to go if we don't hit any bad traffic again. It's a beautiful day to be trucking though. Look at this, this is just gorgeous. It's a little chilly outside, minus four Celsius. Probably around, uh, I don't know, 29, 30 Fahrenheit. It's about just below the freezing point. Damn, my window's dirty. Why is my... Doesn't matter how often you wash the truck. It just gets dirty again. I think we've crossed into Iowa yet. I think I would have noticed. We delivered our first drop and our second drop, we're gonna get there just in time before they close and I called ahead and they're willing to wait there for us so I can get unloaded today yet, which is awesome. Then I can get to Dubuque tonight so that I'm ready to load there tomorrow morning. Then I can get to Ontario tomorrow night. So everything will work out as planned. A little, uh, little bit rushed today, but what day isn't, right? When you're a truck driver, every day is a rush. You're always in a hurry so that you can wait. Hopefully I can get reloaded tomorrow in a decent time. Hopefully I'm not sitting there all day waiting for my reload. Uh, I have it booked already. Here's the Iowa sign. Welcome to Iowa, what's it say? The people of Iowa welcome you. That's very presumptuous of that sign to say that to everybody. What if someone comes into Iowa that the people of Iowa don't welcome? That's a very presumptuous sign, assuming that everybody in Iowa welcomes you. I guess thank you to each and every one of you in Iowa for welcoming me on your sign. It's very nice. I'm assuming that you all want me here because your sign said you did. So here I am visiting your your farming state very much like manitoba southern manitoba iowa always reminds me of home a lot just with a lot more people diesel nothing on the trailer behind us now I gotta figure out where I'm going how do I get to Dubuque from here <sighs> Dubuque let me get the address of this first all right 
right, here we go. So there's two drops on this Dubuque load I'm picking up. One in uh, Mississauga, Ontario, one in Bolton, Ontario. All around the Toronto area. Farm equipment, you don't say. In Iowa, farm equipment? No way. No way. What does Iowa have to do with farming? All right, here we go. Okay, so let's get ourselves back on the road here. Going to Dub Dubuque, D nope. Dubuque, Dubuque, Iowa. Uh-huh. That. And that. And that. South. There you go. Oh, man. Find it for me. Come on, Mandy. Work. Do your job. Woman, come on. Talk to me. Turn left on South Lawrence Street. Then turn left. Okie dokie. 291 kilometers. About three hours. Let's say about uh, 180, 180 miles. Cool. Cool, cool. Right on. All right, so we're gonna go and stay the night there. I have a shower. I believe there's a Flying J in Dubuque, isn't there? Or no, I'm thinking Davenport. Oh, is Davenport? No, Davenport's the same thing as Dubuque, right? Isn't it? Isn't it the same town? I thought so. Maybe not. No, Dubuque's is, no, Dubuque is its own thing. Oh. Usually I pick up in Davenport. I don't think I've ever picked up in Dubuque before. Where's Davenport then? Just looking on the map here. Oh, Davenport's way south of that yet. Oh, that's where my Flying J was that I was thinking I was gonna go to. Oh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Together, we'll figure it out, right? So it turns out there is no uh, Flying J in Dubuque, but there is one in Waterloo. Turn left on Main Street. Do I just turn left from this far lane? Or is this a one way and was I supposed to be in that lane there? No, this isn't a one way. No, there's vehicles coming at me. This isn't a one way. It's weird that they wouldn't have a turning lane here. Okay. I don't know what town this is, but this is Main Street. Very fancy. Look at this. Wow. Continue 6.4 kilometers on Main Street. Hashtag impressed. Look at the little town. So I'm gonna swing by the Flying J in Dubuque, have a shower. Unloaded my whole load today, so uh, I need to clean myself off a bit. And then I think I'm gonna head towards Dubuque and stop at whatever truck stop I can find close by. Cause I don't really wanna stay in Waterloo cause that's quite a ways away yet. And that's time that would have to come off my e-log tomorrow. I'd rather not cause I wanna get as far like, I'd like to get into Ontario if I could tomorrow, and that's a full day. Just brushing my teeth here, had a shower in the pilot truck stop, or I guess the Flying J. This is sort of what it looks like. Come in the door there, you got a nice little toilet. Nice shower, this is the handicap shower. For some reason they gave me that one, but whatever, it worked. I'm clean, just as clean as I would have been in a normal shower, I guess. I'm just trying to clean my toothbrush out here before I head back to the truck. And then I'm gonna look at Google Maps and figure out where I'm gonna park for the night. I don't wanna park here yet. I wanna go closer, I wanna be much closer. I'm still about an hour and a half away from the Butte, maybe a little less, an hour or something. And uh, I don't wanna have to drive that tomorrow. I wanna be able to put that on tomorrow's day. No, wait, I wanna be able to take that on today's day so that that extra hour, hour and a half I can spend tomorrow driving towards Ontario, hopefully getting over the border yet before I run out of hours. So I use this app called Trucker Path. I'm not sure if you've heard of it before, but it's really helpful, especially in the States. It's really helpful to find parking. 
we're gonna go to a truck stop uh, just outside of Dubuque, just on this side of Dubuque. I'm gonna get out of here before somebody backs into me again. No offense, but I don't trust anybody anymore. I don't park at these truck stops if I don't have to overnight. Not after being backed into the other week, having to fight for, for money. We're still fighting for that money. park somewhere in a safer spot i'd like to park right where this guy is on the left here this cattle hauler that's the kind of parking spot i like to get <laughs> but you know everybody likes those spots so so this next truck stop is about an hour a little over an hour down the road well i think i found the last parking spot at this little truck stop diesel we made it, man. We made it. It's been a long day. It's been a long day, but here we are. Now, where are we? What is this place called again? One second. Let me grab my tell-all device here. It is... Oh, hey, hey. Uh, I, I don't know. Oh, here it is. It's the Phillips 66 Highway 20 Auto Truck Plaza on highway 20. Yep, so it's time to walk the weasel. Yeah, and edit some vlogs and wait for tomorrow morning so we can go pick up our new load. That load's gonna take us into Ontario. So the report on this truck so far is that by replacing the steer rims, it definitely helped. My steer tires are absolutely just gliding along, but the bad thing is that all of these rims must be cursed that were on the Freightliner. Because I remember, and those of you who watched my vlogs back in the day also remember that I had a big problem with the truck shaking a lot after hitting a couple of massive potholes in Newfoundland. I wonder if I can sue Newfoundland for all the trouble and expense I'm going through now because of their bad roads. But anyways, it's because of my trip out there in the Freightliner years ago that I hit a really bad sinkhole more than once. The roads were absolutely terrible there that year. Probably still are. And uh, it bent up my rims. That's how bad it was. And so my steer tires, now that I've switched the rims out, that fixed that problem. The rims were bad. So I got these old rims that were on the Volvo before. Then I put the Freightland rims on here. Notice they were bad. Put the Volvo ones back on here. Smooth sailing. The back drives, however, behind the truck, at least one of them has got to be a little bit messed up too, just a little bit off, off round or out around, because uh, I couldn't feel it when I was loaded. When I was loaded, just smooth sailing, but as soon as I had an empty trailer behind me with not as much weight on there, and I can tell it's not coming from the steers this time, it's coming from the drives. So those rims are messed up too. So it's not that bad, it's just a little irritating. It's way better than it was on the last trip because the steer, steer rims are fixed, so it's way better. But it is still not perfect, and I have a little OCD when it comes to my truck. It's supposed to sail smooth like a smooth boat over, over, over fresh, smooth water. Does that make sense? That didn't make sense. I know there's a problem. It's not a serious one though, so I'm gonna load up the load tomorrow and see how it does with a little weight on the trailer again. Because remember on the way down here, I didn't even have that much weight. It was a pretty light load. With a little weight on the trailer, holding the drives down, it was a completely smooth ride. I only felt that when I had an empty trailer. So here's my thing. I'm gonna go load up this load tomorrow, take it to Ontario and see what that does with this truck and see if I can get rid of that. See if it, it holds that shake down. And if it does, great. Then it only shakes a little bit when I'm empty. I don't wanna drive a lot of empty miles anyways, right? What I'm gonna do is wait for these tires to wear down. When I retire, when I uh, retire, when I retire the old tires, when I replace those tires with new tires, I'm just going to replace the tire and rim all at once. So that I only have to go to the tire shop once instead of going to the tire shop every single time I'm home, like I have the last little while. Actually, they've been coming to me, which is extra expensive. 
so uh, it's it's really is not that bad. I'm making it sound a lot worse than it is, but it's just irritating to me. Just a little bit of a <coughs> like a little or when you're driving and when you sit in a truck for ten hours with a little shake like that that shouldn't be there. It gets into your head and it gets irritating. So we'll worry more about it tomorrow. We'll see how it is once we get some weight on us again. And uh, hopefully I can just wait until I need to replace the tires and I'll just replace the, and everything. Whatever. I knew that these, that this could happen. Cause I had the same problem with the Freightliner, but we'll get it fixed. We know what the problem is now and we know that we solved half of it with replacing these rims in the front already. So that makes me feel good. I've been talking for long enough. It's the end of the day. You want to go to bed. I want to go to bed. You, or maybe you got other things to do. You don't want to watch Trucker Josh all day, do you? Well, let me know if you do. If you got nothing else to do, I could post another video. I'll probably post a throwback video today if you want to watch that. Some video of me two years ago. You can see what we were up to then. That's like when I just met Britt, I think. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care and keep it between the lines.